there is a no words to describe this kind incident and this is not first and this is not last so in reality indian rotten mind in particular village when dalit men get married the first night the dalit women must sleep with thakur or brahmins or whatever high caste the same nris community do not support minority and human rights back home in india hello in a recent case of a dalit woman being raped in india and her eventual death has caused some uncomfortable questions for the civil society is it just a straightforward case of a crime or are there some caste undercurrents to it to understand and discuss this complex subject today i have with me a person who not only understand these complex issues but also experienced it he himself belongs to a dalit community and he made his mark as a filmmaker of international repute he made a film called the color of darkness which touched upon the subject of caste discrimination and racism in australia we welcome mr girish makwana welcome mr girish makwana ji to our platform thank you uh girish makwana ji uh as you must have heard and learned from the news recently a young dalit woman in the state of uttar pradesh in india was allegedly gang raped and her limbs were broken her neck was broken and finally she died her body was cremated at the midnight hour without even taking permission or rather against the wishes of her family when you hear these things what is your first reaction um my first reaction i was speechless i was shocked there is a no words to describe this kind incident and this is not first and this is not last this kind of incident will happen again again and again and again until and unless indian society's mentality or psyche towards the women either the dalit or non dalit is not going to change i don't think so i can see anything change or different and i am very i feel very shameful actually i feel shame for myself and even though i can't see someone i and tell myself come from india i know not every man and every woman is like that but we have to now time to times coming we have to think about ourselves and this this news is very shocking mr makwana you touched upon a deep subject the indian mentality or the indian psyche would you elaborate that how does indian psyche plays a role in incidents like these um 
the in reality it's rotten mind of indian rotten mind and we indian carry lot of tradition from centuries and some traditions are evil i give you some example or highlight which is you probably don't know a lot of people don't know and that tradition carry exploitation discrimination and legalize rape in gujarat in dalit community in particular village when dalit men get married the first night the dalit women must sleep with takur or brahmins or whatever high caste before she enters the dalit family before she start her marriage life it's shocking a lot of people don't know that things but it's true because born as a dalit born as a woman is very hard so what do you think this is not legal legal rape absolutely mr makwana what you have just told has truly stunned me just playing as a devil's advocate uh there is a recurring question or a recurring thought which a lot of people say which is that the caste system or the caste discrimination in india is actually british legacy they say that it's the british which emphasized the role of caste within indian society and actually it's the britishers who are responsible for all the caste atrocities in india these are not my views but i have heard a lot of people and i'm sure you must have also heard this from a lot of people so what would you say on that first um, i'll request those people they should educate themselves about indian culture and india um if they say britishers started the caste system of all some people say caste system is a myth um before the britishers we have devdasi tradition another form of the exploitation of women think about those parents they have to give their daughter in temple is like legalized prostitutions i can tell you more further majority part of india dalit men and dalit women especially they have they can't wear top of um clothes they have, they have to bear bear uh, chest topless and without shoes and not on that they have to carry the broom like tail so when they walk on the street the footstep was wiped out because it's a public those days a um, dust road so no one can so that much um discrimination so uh so are you saying that uh, in some parts of india before britishers came the lit men and women had to re- had to remain uh topless in public yes
they have um see that's the double standard of our society the how hypocrites we are there is a there, there is a if you gujarat sid uh, siddhar jay singh time i think 1000 years before something i i forgot the but siddhar jay singh time this tradition was exist and history say that time they they stopped this kind of tra- tradition but in more than 20 century the tradition little bit approve or little bit upgrade it we can say modernize now a lot of places you can't ride the bicycle middle of the town or village you can't wear the shoes you can't wear the hat or pagdi or you can't wear the uh, wrist watch you know you mean people uh, belonging to dalit community are restricted yes. to yes or they they can't ride a bicycle in uh, on the road yeah and uh, everyone knows okay, it's still a lot of places okay, you can't enter the temple still so if these people thinking go oh, britishers create these things so i think they living in some another i, I can say la la land or they are very privileged people because they don't know what india is mr makwana my next question probably you are best placed to answer this you have been living in australia for the last couple of years and you have traveled to various countries so you must have come across people from nri community as you know the nris belong to minority groups in countries like australia england germany france america canada and several other countries mm-hmm. so the fact that nris themselves are in minority does that mean that they understand and have a sense of compassion towards the oppressed communities in india what are your thoughts mr makwana look we indians majority of us are very selfish opportunistic and hypocrites you know what the entire world knows this quality of quality of indians i'll give you an example the nris in the countries you mention they always support those political parties who support minority and human rights but the same nris community do not support minority and human rights back home in india they go into denial mode and call it conspiracy to defame india and entire world knows this hypocrisy of nris mr vakwana my final question to you is that incidents like hatras balrampur and several others do you think there anything would change i think a change is a second step the first step is to acknowledge our mistake and self realization until and unless we learn to introspect our action these incidents will happen again and again and again and again well Mr Makwana thank you for your time and I really appreciate it and I myself learned a few things which I was not very aware of so thank you for enlightening us 
and I hope the information and the experience you shared would be valuable to everyone who watches this video. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Pleasure and privilege. Thank you. Thank you.